One of the nation's most respected cancer doctors accused tonight of plotting to kill another doctor who happened to also be her lover. ABC's Gio Benitez tonight on the chemical investigators say has been used before to kill. Tonight, one of the nation's top cancer specialists is at the center of a twisted case. Oncologist Dr. Ana Maria Gonzalez Angulo accused of poisoning her colleague and lover, Dr. George Blumenshine. Both work for Houston's famous MD Anderson Cancer Center. And her work is so well known, cancer patients travel from across the country just to see her. She was profiled in a Susan G. Komen Foundation video. One of my aunts died with uh, lung cancer when she was 35 and I was 10. But this January at her home near Houston, police say Gonzalez Angulo gave the other doctor two cups of coffee, allegedly laced with the deadly toxin ethylene glycol, the chemical commonly found in antifreeze. Her lover told investigators what tipped him off was that the coffee tasted sweet, allegedly telling police she knew he liked his coffee black. When he asked why it was sweet, she allegedly said, it's just Splenda. Soon, Blumenshine told police he was being rushed to the ER with slurred speech and poor balance. What would have caused someone in such a highly respected position to kind of snap and do this? And I think that that's going to have a lot to do with how the case basically unfolds in court. And another key part of this, that colorless, odorless chemical in antifreeze. It's been used before in high-profile cases. That upstate New York wife who made national headlines, convicted of killing her second husband, poisoning him with antifreeze, suspected of killing her first husband the same way. Behind bars, Castor defiant when asked how that chemical was found in both husbands. One on one with David Muir on 2020. Did you murder your husbands? No, I did not. I love both of them very much. And just like that upstate New York wife in this new case, Gonzalez Angulo also flatly denies trying to kill her lover. Her attorney telling ABC News she is completely innocent. He did not discuss that chemical. Investigators say they found David. This case getting a lot of attention tonight, sure too. Thank you.